Hey everyone, welcome to another Pathfinder Adventure Card Game Scenario. This is Scenario 3.6, the last scenario of Level 3. We're in the Tar Works location, where all damage dealt to you is fire damage. Alright, and let's go ahead and get started uh, advancing the Blessings deck. First card we get is a Crocodile Skin Madu. So let's see, we'll do melee. I think with melee, it's almost an auto acquire, but we did acquire this card. Cool, pretty nifty. All right, I'll go ahead and I will, um, <laughs> I'll discard a blessing of Abdar in order to get a free exploration. And here we get a noxious bomb, could be useful. Intelligence craft. All right, going to do a straight up D10 check for this. Cool, we get a five. Awesome. Well, since we're kind of on a roll here, let's go ahead and let's let's go ahead and use uh, Idori, our ally, and her. Well, there she is, right there, Idori. We're going to use her special ability. Mm hmm. Maybe I got to move over this a little bit so you can read the text. Okay, using her special ability to do an exploration, and hey, just in time. So we get the Dusk Taker, which is this villain scenario. And since we use Idori's ability, we can add a 2d6 to all combat checks. Well, the first thing here, Dusk Taker, before you act, succeed at an Intelligence or Perception 10 check. Okay, so I have a Blessing of Ra, which I'm going to use. So I'm going to roll 2d10 for my Intelligence check. Anything else helping out with perception or intelligence here? No. All right, 2d10. So I rolled a 5 and a 1 is a 6. Wow. Well, I could get that up to an 8, but I need a 10. So now, uh, the Dusk Taker is immune to the melee trait, and the difficulty to defeat is increased by 4. No bueno. All right. So we have a 27 combat check here, and... Um, I can't use things with the melee trait. Okay, well, fortunately, I have a chain lightning uh, spell in my hand. I also have the noxious bomb. Hmm. So dexterity, but my dexterity is only d6. I could basically uh, use the noxious bomb to do a 3d6, 3d6 plus a d4. Hmm. Not the best. Okay, so we're going to do a Chain Lightning spell here. So the Chain Lightning is Arcane Skill plus 3d6. So Arcane Skill, finding 3d6 here. So Arcane is d10. Plus I'm going to recharge the... Uh, da, 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 da. We'll recharge the Staff of Focus. So I can add another d8. And I think that's all I'm going to be able to add to this buff. All right, let's see if this works. All these dice plus two. All right, so that's a four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and seven. So, wow. So seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay, I only rolled a twenty. I needed a twenty-seven. So even if I add a card. It's not going to help out. Okay, so that uh, combat check was an utter fail. I'm going to roll to see if I recharge my chain lightning spell. And it rolls on the floor. Okay, so I rolled a 1. I don't recharge chain lightning. It gets discarded. All damage that the Dusk Taker does is going to be fire damage. So let's see. Da, 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 da. So I can recharge my crocodile skin Madu in order to reduce damage by two fire damage. So I'll go ahead and do that. But then unfortunately I'm gonna take the rest in damage. So I'm going to lose three cards. Dusk Taker gets re um, shuffled back into the location deck. Ouch. Uh, randomly determining what the car one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So that was an interesting first turn. Resetting my hand here. 
getting seven cards. Okay. So no spells so far. Uh, re uh, advancing the blessings deck. Okay, we get an embalming fluid. Okay, this card is actually really really cool. Let me go ahead and uh, fix this angle here. Kind of bothered me. There we go. So the embalming fluid intelligence. A straight up intelligence check. So I rolled a ten. Okay, so I do acquire this card. This actually could be very beneficial against the Dusk Taker. Uh, what I'm going to do, 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 I have some items for extra, extra explorations, but instead, I'm just going to have to toss a card. I have three staves in my hand. I'm going to toss the Frost Staff. That resets the hand, advancing the Blessings deck. And we get, hey, we get the Dusk Taker back. Great. So I have a Blessing of Ra, so I'm going to go ahead and try to use that along with another D10. So I'm rolling 2D10 for this Perception, for this Intelligence 10 check. Oh, you know what's cool? It says Intelligence or Perception. I'm also going to be using, so I held on to uh, this piece of, uh, I just, I'm glad I held on to that instead of trading it to a trader because I can add a D8 to my perception check. Pretty awesome. All right, two D10, another D10 falls on the floor. Okay, let's go ahead. And come on, D10s. Two D10s plus a D8. All right, so I rolled a nine, seven, and a three. So a total of 19, okay. So that means that uh, I can use the melee trait and it's only a combat 23 check which isn't really going to be that great. I have an Explorer's Staff in my hand, which I'm going to be able to do my melee, which is a D8 and a D6. I'm going to discard it to roll another D6. Then I'm going to... Do, 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 do. Let's see. Okay, so I can use the Daba, my ally. Recharge the Daba to add another D4. And then I have a Flame Staff in my hand which is an item. I'm going to recharge that for an extra D8. All right, so I get to uh, add plus two to this roll since it's a melee check. Let's see if all these dice do anything. Okay, a D6 falls on the floor. Rolling another D6. Okay, so we got three, six, eight, and eight. And we got a one. So we got 16, 17, 18, 19, 22, 23, plus 2 is a 25. All right. So we were able to defeat the Dust Taker. He is the villain. So that means he is defeated. Okay. So this location is closed. That was the last, uh, let's see, going to prepare here. That was the last um, scenario from Adventure, or from Level 3, I should say. So let's go ahead and do a quick check here of Amotep's deck. Uh, she did go through half of her cards for that scenario. She had half of her cards left. So she can, of course, go to a trader. She did uh, get the embalming fluid. There's that. There's her. So, And she got an armor. So the uh, embalming fluid and the armor here. So that is just... Uh, Level, both are level one, so she doesn't really have any new. Glad I kept that card. She also gained the noxious bomb, but once again, that is of level one, or actually, it's a basic level. So really, don't um, have a lot to trade the trader. That's the state of Amotep's deck. I always like breaking down the decks. Uh, showing you where she's advanced, what she's kept. As you can see, she didn't really go for any of those two new spells. Or she went to a trader, didn't get any new spells. Pretty much, pretty much her deck has been unchanged for the past couple of scenarios. So the reward for uh, Adventure or Scenario 3.6 is a roll card and then a power feat. Okay, so here is, well there's Amotep right there. So this is where she's at right now, and she has the ability. 
me see if zooming in is going to help out here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so she has, uh, she gains the roll card. So she can either become an Eldritch Scion, or she can become a Staff Magus. Magus or a Magus. Okay, so she is already a Magus. So, hmm, it's going to be an interesting pick to decide which type of, uh, uh, you know, roll card I want. I mean, I'm kind of intrigued by having the uh, hand size of 9 with the Eldritch Scion. And plus, uh, both of them are uh, pretty ridiculous and OP. So I will uh, let you know what uh, roll card I choose for the next scenario. I'll also tell you how I leveled up what power feat I gained because uh, for the reward for this scenario is a roll card and a power feat. So yeah, I'll let you know uh, next adventure. Uh, so that was uh, the conclusion of uh, scenario and level 3. Uh, level 3 was a little more challenging than uh, level 2 for sure. So a lot more, uh, a little more difficulty. So I like that. And uh, yeah, we'll just leave it right there. Well, thanks for watching.